hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be making this beautiful textured mini skirt so keep on watching so guys you're gonna need your hip measurements and your waist measurements to begin so we're gonna start with a slip knot and make a chain that's long enough to stretch to the measurement of your hip so for this skirt the hip measures 37 and the waist is 26 and a half so i'm gonna make a chain that's long enough to stretch to 37 inches all right so the next thing you're gonna do is count your chains and make sure it's an even number all right so i did 100 chains and in this pattern we're gonna do a chain one to change rows but chain one doesn't count as a stitch in this pattern so after you have made your number of chains to go around your hip you're going to slip stitch to close the circle slip stitch in the first chain that you made and you're gonna chain one then you're gonna back loop single crochet in each stitch around all right, so that's one back loop single crochet in each stitch all around the circle. And this will form the first row for the waistband. So do that all the way around and come back. So I'll meet you when I am halfway there so this is what your work should be looking like at this point so we're gonna continue one back loop single crochet in each chain until we get back to where we began so one back loop single crochet in each stitch and to close the circle we're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet so slip stitch into the first single crochet you're finished with the first row and this is what it should be looking like that's the first row for the waistband that we just completed Remember, chain one doesn't count as a stitch in this pattern. And it should be able to stretch enough to go over the hips. So to begin the next row, we're going to chain one. And for this pattern, it's one single crochet, one double crochet, and we alternate that all around the circle, right? So one single crochet then one double crochet and repeat that all the way around and this is how we achieve the textured look so one double one single one double one single so your work should be looking at this point and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around the circle all right guys so you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and i'll meet you when i'm halfway there so this is what your work should be looking like at this point. So you're just repeating one single crochet, one double crochet, all the way around. So guys, I have a few stitches left and we'll continue. Single crochet, one double crochet. Until we get back to our starting point. Then we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to end that round. 
let's slip stitch in the first single crochet then we're gonna chain one and turn our work for the next round so to start the next round we're going to chain one and turn our work and each single crochet will get a double crochet and each double crochet will get a single crochet right so if you had ended the round before with a single crochet you're gonna place a double crochet in that single crochet if you had ended the round with a double crochet then you're gonna start with a single crochet and you repeat that pattern all the way around the chain all right so guys the pattern is pretty simple and repetitive so just follow the pattern continue in that manner to get your textured skirt so at this point i have done a few rows and i'm going to show you what my work looks like you can already see the the texture forming and it's so beautiful and simple so it's very easy to achieve this beautiful look right so it's much simpler than it looks right so that's what my work is looking like after completing about four rows so this is what your work should be looking like so repeat those steps guys until you get to the length that you want for the skirt and the length that I'm aiming for is 13 inches so I'll be repeating the pattern until I get to 13 inches all right so remember to chain one turn your work to start a new round and each single crochet gets a double crochet and each double crochet gets a single crochet and you repeat that all the way around and you slip stitch to end your round and you start that all over again for the next round Yes, guys so this is what my work looks like after completing my 13 inches so at this point I'm going to just single crochet around the edge of the skirt this is the tail end of the skirt right just single crochet in each stitch around just to give it a nice finished look so one single crochet in each stitch around the edge of the skirt when I've gotten to the length that I want guys so continue all the way around the tail end of the skirt with your single crochets one single crochet in each stitch and you can already see the difference that the single crochet row makes in how beautiful the skirt looks right so you can see it there without the single crochet and adding the single crochet makes a world of a difference so this is what your work should be looking like at this point and we're going to continue until we get back to the starting point of this row then we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to end that round slip stitch we're gonna chain one and cut our yarn and we'll finish lengthening the skirt at this point so now it's time to add our elastic to the waistband 
so you're going to measure your elastic and ensure that it can stretch to past your hip this skirt that i'm making the hip measures 37 and the waist measures 26 and a half So I'm going to measure my elastic and I'm going to use about 24 inches because I want the waist to be cinched in and so I'm doing about 2 inches, 2.5 inches less than the waist measurement but at the same time ensure that it stretches enough to pass the hip. So even though I'm cutting it for 24.5 inches, it must be able to stretch enough to go over the 37 inch hip right so i'm tying the ends of the elastic with a double knot just to ensure that it does not pull apart when you try to put the skirt on so i'm using a double knot which is very secure this way my elastic waist will be intact when my client puts her skirt on right so that's how you do a double knot and as you can see it's very secure it won't pull apart so tighten the knot and snip cut off the extra elastic band at the end of the knot all right, so now that we've prepared our elastic, we're going to go back to the waistband, still using our 4.25 mm hook. We're going to do one more round of single crochet around the waist on the right side of the skirt. All right, so one round of single crochet going all around the waistband. Remember, we had started the skirt with one round of single crochet after we had made our chain stitches. And we're going to do one more round all the way around. So as I said, we are going to cut off the extra edges on the elastic because we don't want that to be hanging out of the skirt when you stretch it so now we're gonna switch our hook to the smaller hook and we're gonna start incorporating the elastic in our waistband also using single crochet stitches right so single crochet around the elastic And for better coverage, guys, you can do two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in the next. If you find that one single crochet by itself is not covering your elastic well enough, right? Because you don't want the elastic to be showing in your skirt waist. So if necessary, you can use a smaller hoop and do more single crochets to cover the elastic going around the waist right so for me i did two single crochet in one stitch and one single crochet in the next and i repeated that all the way around the waist of the skirt and that was sufficient to cover my elastic as you can see here so repeat that going around until your elastic is incorporated in the waist. So 
so now we are back at the starting point and we're gonna continue single crochet around the elastic and as usual we end with a slip stitch in the first single crochet a chain one and we cut our yarn and there you have it your elastic is now in the waist of the skirt and you can see how beautiful it looks i just love this pattern it's so much simpler than it looks give a nice elegant look but it's so easy to achieve and it's beginner friendly because all the stitches you need to know are single crochet double crochet and how to slip stitch right so it's very beginner friendly even though it looks so sophisticated so i believe anybody can achieve this look with just knowing the basic crochet stitches so you're gonna use your darning needle to weave in your ends when you are finished and that's what i'm doing here so just go in a few stitches to weave in your ends and then you snip off the extra yarn Because you want to ensure that your skirt will not come loose. So weaving the ends properly. Just go in a few stitches. In and out a few stitches. And that should be enough to conceal that loose end. Right guys so this is what the finished skirt looks like and you saw it on the mannequin it's very beautiful and very easy to achieve so guys i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you learned anything at all from watching this video yeah and if you have any question guys please feel free to comment below i'll respond to them and yeah Please share this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.